<laughs> the Order of Malta is working on updating its structure, and Pope Francis has chosen Cardinal Silvano Tomasi to accompany and sustain the arduous task. I am at the service of the order to renew certain parts of the internal structure as well as certain parts of its social and humanitarian service. The order is doing a lot of good, but as with every institution with its roots in past centuries, it needs continuous reform. Currently, the Order of Malta's main objective is to reform its constitutional charter and code. The goal is to strengthen the spiritual aspect of the institution and avoid new periods of crisis. Updating the structures and method of member admission is a step that leads not to limiting the service and identity of the order, but to strengthening them. Following the death of Grand Master Fra Giacomo Dalla Torre last April, the Order of Malta has chosen Fra Marco Luzzago as the lieutenant for the Grand Master. He will be in charge of the order for one year. Before the end of this period, he will have to convoke the Council Complete of State to elect a Grand Master. There were few candidates, not many to choose from, so the order chose to give itself some time to breathe by electing a lieutenant for the Grand Master. The lieutenant has the same authority as the Grand Master. The difference is that the former doesn't have a life tenure. The Order of Malta is a sovereign entity, equivalent to a state, and has been recognized since the year 1048 for its humanitarian work. It counts on 13,500 knights and dames, 80,000 volunteers, and 42,000 employees spread around the globe. It currently holds diplomatic relations with 110 states.